back into this. Everything's fixed hunky-dory. All right. Just uh, re-mention re here, Light representing Sheik, Kwan representing Peach. Let's get it. Absolutely. Okay. We're not wasting any time here. Kwan kind of retreating uh, off to the left side of the stage here. But Light, like you talked about, that aggressive play style starting to come out. Yeah, leaving nothing for him to like try to play defensive whatsoever. Goes for the parasol. Oh. Very risky downer, just trying to get something started. But immediately punches with a forward air. Sheik just has so much tools to work with. You know, just has a lot of quick attacks. They can just come out and immediately just punish whatever the opponent's throwing at. You know, that's one of the great things about Sheik. You know, she can outframe Daddy, even some of the quickest opponents. As you've seen before, you know, we've seen that forward air come out much before uh, Quans was even able to even think about throwing out a forward air. Okay, no. a bit of a crosser right there gets the dash attack. Now Quan's off stays. That's not a bad position to be in. But let me talk. Let's talk about bad positions. Uh, up smash right up, uh, right up underneath. Uh, light here. That is just a lot of damage, and that results into a stock being taken, Austin. That was just beautiful gameplay coming from Quan. He recognized that Light was out of double jumps that entire time, and just completely dominated him until he got the kill with a strong forward air. Let's see if Light can bring this back. There he goes. He's got the grab. This is where Sheik likes it. Mm -hmm. Sends his opponent into the air. Absolutely, but she has a lot of ground to make up here, as you know. She doesn't hit very hard, but I, okay. I was I was saying one thing, but then Light was proving me another, man. That's all Sheik needs. Yes. Sheik just needs a grab at that sweet spot percent it just helped even immensely that he was on that platform mm -hmm. here we go kind of whittling away at this lead here chiseling away here at Quan. let's see if Quan can try to stop the bleeding good stuff there using forward to try to alleviate some of the pressure yeah he was trying not to let her land down on the ground Quan coming up with the booty bop there it is tries to back that thing up on he him. is in a bad spot he needs to get back onto the center stage he manages to escape if you're on that edge of that platform against a sheik death could be waiting you, you just have to be super careful if she gets one grab she can just carry you off with forward airs into yes. a bouncing fish yes. the forward air train is definitely going to happen okay really looking for a lot of damage here tries using grenades to keep him off stage forces the low recovery and i think light might have wanted to get to the ledge of stage throughout that dare because as you know sometimes catch the opponent from up underneath now, right now, Light's going to be looking for either like a down tilt, forward tilt, or a grab in order to try to lead into an upper, but he gets the read, catches him with a forward air. Quan taking away game number one from Light. There it is. Quan looking really good here to kick things off, but you know, Aussie, I, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. It's not about how you start, it's most certainly about how you finish in this game. And uh, you know, obviously, Light has uh, some room for adaptation here. Rod, you're absolutely right, man. In, in the game of Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U, like anything can happen. There's mm -hmm. plenty of factors to involve. You can get gimped really easily. Yes. You can die to rage from like hyper sense. Like games can switch in an instant. I think that's what makes it exciting. So we're gonna jump into game number two. Quan with the 1-0 lead. Going straight back to Smashville. I mean, this is like Sheik's home. There it is. Okay, this time kind of not starting off as aggressive as what we've seen before here, just resulting in throwing out the needles. And Rod, the crowd is waking up. They see their boy Quan from Cali coming out here, trying to put in some work. I mean, he's just pushing buttons, but right now he's pushing the correct buttons. Oh, certainly. Uses the Mary Poppins, gets back on stage there, but there is the needle, man. Just keeping Quan at bay and really stopping him from coming in at an aggressive point. But here's the platform play you talked about. Yeah, it's just super scary for Peach to just be caught on that platform, going for the text to escape, tries to go for the down tilt in order to just try to uh, stuff out any side of, sort of approach that Light wants to throw at him. Absolutely, but I like the way this match is starting off as opposed to last week. You know, both guys kind of staying neck and neck, going tit for tat, pound for pound, but there again is the up smash, Austin. Quad just mixed him the heck up. He threw, he dro Z dropped the turn up, mm -hmm. just to like, as like a decoy. They caught the up smash, but you know what? Light brings him back home with the diamond cutter. We are down to one stock. Here we go. We got ourselves a game here. There's a lot on the line here. Whips the grab, finds a grab of his own, but then misses the down tilt follow up. Wants to try to reset the neutral. I like that. As you know, you don't want to throw out too many punishments with things versus Sheik. You know, she certainly has the frame data to get there before you. Trying to throw out that dash attack. Just trying to get, block him away. Here we go. Light trying to space out that back air. I mean, right now he's going to be looking for very, very small hits. He's in a very bad position. Light can push the pressure here. The platform's in his favor. Obviously, just chill back a bit. Here we go. The train uh -oh. gets the read. Oh, gets the forward tilt afterwards. What's he going to go for next? Hey, there was the Nary. Now, you know, you spoke about pressure. We're starting to see a lot of the pressure stay on stage. Both these two characters have a very strong recovery system. I don't think they want to tangle with each other out there. He's at that get another Nary. Here's a forward air. Uses the needles. Don't touch that ledge. Dude, he is at the percent. If he gets one grab, this could be Quan's stock. Let's see if he can get the correct ledge get up. He, got, he had the right read, just a little bit too slow. Quan's going to go with the sidestep and reverse the tables. Puts him off stage. Light's not going down without a fight, though. He's got him at 109%. Perfect shield. Boom. The side special. Gets the one-two grab. Some tried and true. She combos good DI away there. He's trying to read the air. Now he just goes for the raw bouncing fish. He's still living at 139%. Can Quan make it back? Oh. Goes, he holds down to go through the platform, but the needles are going to lead into the bouncing fish. Quan down the game. One to one. There it is. Like I said.
said, it's not about how you start. It's most certainly about how you finish. We got ourselves a, a very even match here. And like I talked about, you know, we've seen the match kind of stay on stage for the most part. Both of these two characters do a phenomenal job at picking apart even some of the greatest opponents and the greatest characters off stage. But I think versus each other, they know that they're kind of evenly matched up when it comes to tools. And this is just a best two of three. I, I heard them. I believe we're going to town and city. Interesting stuff. I mean, this could really benefit Quan in a great way. You know, it, town and city's got that smaller ceiling and yes. kill off the top a little bit earlier. Also gets rid of the platforms in certain times so in case he just wants like a fa final destination. No platforms allowed for Sheik. You know, I got to say, it could benefit both of these two characters. Uh, you know, both of these two uh, guys in the last few matches were getting those very early kills off the top of the screen courtesy of their tried and true up smashes. So they can apply that same game plan here. They'll both be sitting pretty before. There's only one to go away a winner, and it looks like right now Light is the one that kind of wants it a little bit more, man. And it looks like Light is definitely waking up. Already got him down to a 70%. Tries to go for the roll. And ends up just rolling away from the edge instead. Oh. Catches the spot up. Good DI from Light. Just DIing behind Peach to avoid the follow-up with the golf club. There it is. Oh, punishes the Nair. I like that. It's super smart to just run in there and shield, run, shield, run, shield. It's a super smart strategy to go for when you're just trying to bait out like aerials from your opponent. I gotta talk about something Quan is doing here. We're starting to see the utilization of down air much more, and I think it's because he's trying he's starting to pick up on Light's rolling habits. So every time he rolls past him, that dare is there to give him that good coverage. But there's the bouncing fist. Don't even think about throwing off the foot there. I, like has definitely got this like download on lock against Quan. He's definitely just seeing where he's gonna go. Is he gonna recover high? Gonna recover low? Got the bouncing fish at the ready. That long last active hitbox sends him just flying. And Quan's gotta get some work done. This grab could be big for him. Oh, Try, expected him to air dodge right in front of him. Try to get hit by that F smash, but Light's not gonna fall for it. Just DI's away instead. This could be really bad for Quan. Offs to go DI downwards to escape the forward air train that could lead to death. Doesn't matter. Gets the grab. Goes for a bouncing fish afterwards. Okay, we're starting to see a shift in play style here for my man Light. Not as aggressive before, understanding that he does have the lead, uh, and now the match is just completely into his control. There, as you see, the utilization of the needles keeping Quan at bay. But we have to talk about Peach and Rage. History shows this character can do some crazy things. And right there, Light was trying to get that sour spot neutral that leads into an upset at times. He's not going to die to that. He tries to go for a single and reads the air dodge, but it fell, unfortunately for him, does not catch the right direction. Mm -hmm. Okay, another back air alleviating the pressure. Oh my goodness. Okay, using the special attacks, keeping him at bay. I think he threw out an up smash there, Austin. I've seen the first few frames, but doesn't matter. 119%. Rod, I am scared. Quan can easily bring this back with that much rage. If you manage to just get like a couple good reads here, plays are very smart. He can make something work. Okay. Just gotta play intelligent. Okay. Here he goes. He's trying to space out those forward tilts. I like that he kind of backs up. Like applying pressure, not not over committing, just throwing needles instead, because he doesn't want to like fall into any traps like that one. Oh my goodness, find himself off stage again. Not a good position to be in at all. There's a dash attack starting to chisel away at this lead here. Let's see what Light can do to try to stop the bleeding. He's trying to play space game with that forward air. Going back for the edge, gets dropped oh. into the backyard. That's the first time Light's ever gone for the drop. But great DI come from Quan. He manages to live by 146%. What can he do? Oh. Get hit by the bouncing fish, and Light takes it home. And that's the set of the day. That's the first set of the day. There is just not enough DI in the world to save you there at that point. I mean, come on, man. You already survived the ledge trump back here. You think you're really going to survive a bouncing fish? Come on, man. Now, Rod, I was insanely horrified. I, I thought... I, I, I thought that for a second mm -hmm. I'm that Light was going to, like, lose... Like, we, we built up Light to be, like, this guy.